All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got the ultimate battle of the beasts in the King Ronnie Coleman at the 1999 Mr. Olympia versus the King Ronnie Coleman at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. And it should be a good one because we got two different, totally different versions of the King Ronnie Coleman. 1999, he was super streamlined with a tight ass midsection. He only weighed like 260 pounds. But in 2003, he left the fucking planet. Coming in at a whopping 286 pounds, ripped on stage. And for 5'11", 286 pounds, he sure was ripped. I tell you that. Now, I like the 1999 version the best, but I know a lot of you guys love the 2003 massive version of Ronnie Coleman. So I figured, let's see who comes out on top, 1999 or 2003, in this ultimate Mr. Olympia comparison. So guys, without any further ado... Let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And this was a tough one because Ronnie is bigger in 2003. He's actually a lot bigger in 2003. And so is his fucking midsection. So I'm going to go with 1999. I think he just looks so much more streamlined. His quads look more deeply cut and more separated. I mean, his midsection is so tight. I mean, his midsection don't look too bad in 2003, especially for a guy who's 286 fucking pounds on stage. That's just mind-boggling. So all in all, 1999 is going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep, and I'm going to give this one to 2003, because look at how big his fucking arms were in 2003. 2002, they were tiny. I mean, they just shrunk in 2002, but that's because Ronnie Coleman only came in at like 250 fucking pounds or 258 pounds in 2002, so Ronnie's fucking arms shrunk along with his physique. So all in all, 2003 is going to get the point, but 1999 looks fantastic. The silhouette looks amazing, but, but this is a front double bicep, and 2003 is going to get the point. Off to the next pose, and we got the ab and thigh, and of course, 1999 is going to get the uh, point, because in 1999, Ronnie Coleman's midsection looked the best at the 99 Mr. Olympia, and I might say the 1998 Finland Grand Prix, it might have been the tightest, pre-1998, of course. Uh, so anyway, guys, we got the side chest shot, one of my favorite poses. And I'm going to give this one to 2003, because 2003's side chest is popping way more. His right pec is a lot bigger. His arms and shoulders look bigger. But then again, he also has a huge gut to go with that physique. So that's what's throwing me off here. He's got a great side sweep to the quads. And like I said, his arms and shoulders are really big. So I'm going to go with 2003. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. I mean, sorry, guys, side chest shot. I'm looking at Ronnie Coleman on the left, and I'm looking at his side chest. I guess you could call this a side chest shot and a side tricep shot. And I'm going to go with 1999 for sure, because trust me, guys, even though you really can't see the uh, side tricep in 2003, it was definitely down in 2003. His side tricep was terrible in 2003. It might have been the worst in 2003. So 1999 is definitely going to get the point there. Now we got the front lat spread, and 1999 looks fantastic. He looks nice and wide, but you cannot go against this 2003 version of Ronnie Coleman in the front lat spread. Even though 2004 he came in, oh, at like 296 pounds... His front lat spread still wasn't this freaky. I mean, you can't even see his neck. He looks like a fucking dinosaur. Ronnie Coleman was sent here from another planet as a bodybuilder. I'm telling you guys, that's how freaky he is. So 2003 is going to get the point, even though 1999 looked fucking great. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular. And Ronnie Coleman just looks way too big and bloated in 2003. 1999, Crab Most Muscular, Ronnie Coleman, might have been the best Crab Most Muscular I have ever seen. And there's been a lot of good Crab Most Musculars in the past. But this 1999 Crab Most Muscular was unfucking believable So 1999 is definitely going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the Christmas tree. And this was a really tough one. But, 
but Ronnie Coleman is bigger in 2003. His hams and glutes are better in 2003. His upper back might look about the same in 2003, but look at the Christmas tree. Look at how much bigger the Christmas tree looks in 2003, and it's just totally ripped all the way up. It goes fucking from the bottom of his back to the top of his back, ripped. So 2003 is going to get the point for sure. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread, and this was another tough one. But if you really look at it, yeah, 2003, yeah, he's a little wider, but 2000, uh, I mean, 1999, he looks better. He has a better lower back. Actually, he has a way better lower back. He's got more detail, and the traps are a little bit thicker. Hams and glutes, 2003 would probably take this one, ham and glute-wise. But 1999, the hams and glutes were on point, so 1999 is going to get the point. Now we got the rear double bicep, guys, and look at this. Look at the difference here. Look at how tight Ronnie Coleman's rear double bicep pose was in 1999. And then his uh, biceps look a lot peakier in 1999 as well. He's got more detail. Uh, 2003, he just looks way too big, man. I mean, look at his lats. His lower lats are just hanging off his back like a piece of meat. It's just crazy. But 1999 is going to get the point. Um, in my opinion, though, guys, if, if, you know, if you really look at the pose, 99 is better. 99 is better. 2003 is good, but 99 is better. All right, guys, if we tally up the points here, we got my man Ronnie Coleman with six. And we got, well, 1999 Ronnie Coleman with six. And 2003 Ronnie Coleman with four. But it could have even went seven to three, guys. I mean, 1999 Ronnie Coleman was just unbelievable. He, that was probably one of the best fucking shapes that anybody has ever brought to a Mr. Olympia stage. He was just great in 1999. 2003, he was just a little too big, in my opinion, and just a little sloppy. But I like the 2003 version. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey Strength and Fitness did that on purpose. Peace out, guys.